What's up times three is Vine the Serious Star, Serious V, the self-help sensei, coming to you live from the airwaves, back like I never left. Today, I wanted to do my motivational video as I'm driving back to the spot. You know, I just got off work, um, trying to stay, you know what I'm saying? About to go get me something to eat real quick. Now, my motivational topic of the day was talking about how to access the north node within your natal chart and how life forces you into your north node. And I'm going to use my north node as an example. All right, so I got, I'm a Libra ascendant. I got Pluto in the first house. Pluto is in 12 degrees Scorpio. My leap, my my ascendant is at 20 degrees Libra. So the majority of my first house is actually Scorpio. Uh, sorry, I got somebody really close behind me. That's why I had to pause and stop real quick. Anyway, so that I got a North Node in Aquarius. It's on the cusp of the fourth and fifth house. It's at 26 degrees Aquarius. So the purpose of me incarnating even into this body from an astrological perspective has everything to do with privacy, the home life, Cancerian energy. Not only is my stuff, my uh, North Node in the fourth slash fifth house, I'm a Cancer. My son is in the ninth house of distant travel, foreign affairs, government, higher education, and things like that. And that's just the key words that you'll find in basic astrological textbooks and online. So in my case, my North Node has a lot to do with my creative level within my own privacy. For example, when I'm in the crib doing my podcast, in the crib, I'm always around my like little small desk area pretty much whereas though it's like my little private area I go over there and chill and do my thing another thing that I uh, like for example in the interest uh, different languages Nihojin stories pretty much Japanese stories um, I'm interested in the Japanese language I, for me it's one of the dopest languages that I actually heard on this planet so things like that, my own creativity level, finding my my path in life through my own things that I'm personally interested in. And it's in Aquarius. So what's crazy is it has a lot to do with the evolution of humanity from a technological perspective, also from the home perspective. This is why I give out the podcast that I give out, which is What If in the Future of Housing. The Future of Housing technological things dealing with housing in your own personal house area my north node is in the fourth house slash fifth house creativity level the things you're passionate about fifth house yeah and that's a fire house naturally because it's the opposite of what's actually in there and leo is supposed to be in the fifth house but when i was born i turned that thing upside down and put aquarius there my south node is in leo i already this is why i have artistic abilities I'm able to get a spotlight on me. I'm able to, um, for example, have creative thing affairs. I do music. I know music. I know music theory. I make beats. I draw. All these things are artistic levels. I know how to write songs. All these things are artistic levels. Excuse my uh, my stand. I mean, let me show y'all the stand I got. This is the thing I got. It, it wobbles. Like, I'll be trying to have this thing nice and, you know what I mean, tight and all that. But for some reason, this bad boy do a lot of a, a lot of wobbling. Let me see if I could get it, like, to stay a little bit sturdier. But, yeah, yo, so life forces you into your north node a lot of the times by closing doors on your south node. So, a lot of the times... The things that we come into this life with, like the, the talents, the gifts and passions and stuff like that, came from a previous lifetime. And we just interject that into our own life as we're gaining new experiences from our opposite node, which is the 
south node, I mean the north node. And the nodes have everything to do with the moon, the, uh, the perigee and apogee. One point is the farthest point that the moon can rotate around the sun, the other is the, I mean around the uh, earth, and the other is the closest. A perigee and Paji, North Node, South Node, the dragon's head, the dragon's tail. So, things that you might have done in your life and tried to do, if you notice that doors is always shut and you got to go around it in a different manner, these things that you might be pursuing might be things from your South Node. You might just need to incorporate your South Node energy into your North Node energy. For example, I make beats, I do music. What I do is I make my beats for my podcast. In my podcast, when I'm talking about things that have to do with my North Node, for example, the future of housing. Aquarius, fourth house North Node, the future of housing. Just think about that. Technological advances and society as a whole, human evolution. These are all Aquarian North Node things, especially in the fourth house. So I had to flip. I had a hard time finding people to do music with. For some reason, we never meshed when it came to doing the music. My beats, for some reason, wouldn't mesh well with the lyrics and things like that. So, and eventually I broke away from trying to make beats specifically for rappers and artists. And I started finding a North Node way to actually inc uh, incorporate my beats into my North Node energy, which is throwing my beats as background music to my podcast. And this is a quick introduction about how life forces you into your north node and tries to pretty much shut the doors into your south node so this is not just for ti's this is not just for my targeted individuals this is for society as a whole i'm trying to bring more information to encompass society as a whole while also helping targeted individuals like myself is Vaughn the Sirius Star, Sirius V, the self-help sensei, aka the Silver Fox, coming to you live from the airwaves, and I will be back. You already know, like I never left.